my god. Mm. Looking at my history's a little contradictory Cause all this time I wanted love but falling Hey guys, it's Gloria. Welcome to my channel. I don't know if the focus is right on my face or not, but I hope it is. I'm going to be talking about some things, some tips and tricks that I've basically been using to cure my binge eating and stress eating habits. And these are just some things that really worked effectively on me and something that I've been doing for the past couple of months that really did change my life um so if you guys are up for that then keep on watching i'm so sorry if like i keep looking here because like the viewfinder is like here so i keep looking here instead of the camera but i actually started stress and binge eating since grade 11 in high school which was almost about two years ago so before that you know i never really had any issues with eating i was just you know just very happy and like I would eat whatever I want when I feel full I know I would stop eating and all but from grade 11 that's when I started having a lot of stress two humongous pimples on my face because of stress I have an exam tomorrow and an essay that's due in two days so girl I'm dying because you know academically and socially and everything wise just a lot of things went on from grade 11 and that's when I started gaining a lot of weight and when I say a lot of weight I'm not saying like you know I was overweight but I was still um, I get I definitely did gain a lot of weight like around I'm gonna say say less than 10 kilograms i never really thought about my weight my weight was never a problem yes of course like growth has to like hormones and all of that does have to do with that weight but there was still a lot of um, stubborn fat all over my body i would bloat insanely easily especially my tummy um and that's for like another video i, I do bloat i had one cheesecake and I'm so bloated. So bloated! Oh my god, I have to go out tomorrow. So the number one thing that I think really did help me was knowing when to stop. And I know that can kind of sound like a really toxic diet culture and all of that, but also when you're coming from someone who doesn't know how to stop, it's like the right thing to say. You need to stop. When I come home from school, I would open the fridge and I would basically finish every single thing that's eatable in the entire fridge. I, I was so extremely hungry and I don't know why. Like I was just like, I, I don't think my stomach was hungry, but I think my mind was just telling me that I was hungry because of all the stress that came from school. So after that, you know, after eating a lot and stuff, um, I would basically eat too much to the point where it would, my food would not go down through my esophagus. Like it would be stuck right here. And so I can't, I couldn't burp, I couldn't digest it properly. It was just stuck right here. But then I would eat more and more and more on top of that to the point where I would throw up. Like, I don't think it was like a problem at the time. Like at the time I was just like, yeah, I'm just eating this, you know, just to fulfill that hunger. But after, coming into quarantine i started realizing that i actually eat a lot more than i really need i've been eating so much to the point where my stomach and my mind just doesn't know when i feel full so i think the number one thing that i have to fix is to know when i'm full i don't want to say the, the word restrict but in a sense yes i had to restrict a little bit of my calorie also intake. that is what really helped me to sort of limit my intake is basically just getting food that has separate wrappers like this and this basically just helps me to just like know how much i should eat and not just because eat. i was eating too much to the point where i just didn't notice and my body couldn't intuitively comprehend that i am so I had to annually restrict my calories to know that this is how much I'm gonna eat. And this is the only thing I'm gonna eat. I'm not gonna eat after that. I'm eating like 2,000 calories a day, but I was still feeling like it was a small portion. Which is, before that, I was eating like 3,000 plus calories every single day. And a couple of things that I basically did to make myself feel full is to eat very, very slowly and to chew a lot. Chew like 20 to 30 times, kind of eating slowly and really slowly. understanding how the food tastes like really gave me that 
fullness. Second thing is to kind of question myself. Am I really going to feel good when I eat this food? So, like, not thinking in the sense of, am I going to gain weight from eating this food? I'm not thinking that. I'm really more thinking, my body going to feel good when I eat this food? Because, you know, if you have this whole Big Mac, McDonald's, with, like, big fries, large Coke, that's not going to make you feel good, let's be honest. Like, your stomach is going to feel very gurgly, and you're going to feel very tired and lazy. And there's a reason behind it. Then I started trying out a lot of different healthy foods. Because before then, I never knew how to be eating healthy. Whatever home-cooked meals is always healthy. That was kind of my mindset. Home-cooked meals aren't always the healthiest option. Like they do have high in fat and high in sugar, high in sodium. I had to kind of change that mindset of not always the food that my mom makes is the healthiest and I kind of need to know what type of foods I, I should be eating. That will make my body feel good. Like that will make myself feel good. Um, and make me feel energized, make me feel like I feel full. I know Coach Greg, he always talks about how like you should be eating low calorie, high density foods. And Use your freaking brain! Low calorie dense foods from my freaking cookbook! And that is completely so true and that's what I've been doing in my routine, eating the foods that are very low in calorie but are making me feel super full like cauliflower and popcorn and stuff like white rice those don't make me full and i tend to eat a lot of those too if i do start eating so i kind of replace that with brown rice and whole wheat bread oats and a lot of high protein foods tend to be me full a lot of high protein foods actually do take longer to digest than carbs so that's also another reason why it makes you feel full and it also keeps you energized for longer kind of summarize this so far number one you know how many calories am I really intaking like don't try to count having a sandwich most of the time we really only count the vegetables and like the meat and the bread that's in there but you don't count the sauce and all of that so try to figure out exactly how many calories you do take every single day and kind of go on from there and thing is to chew a lot and take time when you eat before you swallow it. And number three is to ask your ask questions whether your body is going to feel good when you're eating them. Number four is to eat low calorie and high density foods. So those are kind of my tips that I used for myself. Um, there's a lot of that mental aspects to it. And I know like obviously counting calories is not healthy at all. And I totally agree with that. But also at the same time, when you're coming from a perspective where you take way too much calories a lot more than your body needs you know there is a need to kind of restrict a little bit and know how many calories you really do intake every single day and kind of go on from there i try to be very mindful and but when i want to enjoy certain foods i do i do second think let's be honest i'm a human too i do second think i'm like should i really eat that ramen should i not but, you know, at the end of the day, I just try to make healthy alternatives. If I can't make an alternative to that, I'll just eat it. And these are just habits that you guys can totally adapt to your lifestyle. Obviously, I'm not saying that this is like a, the only way you could solve your binge eating and stress eating habits because nothing is like cookie cutter. Um, you have to really find ways that works and adjusts to your body. But these are just some things that really worked effectively on me. And these are things that I still do to this day. Sorry, my mouth is so dry. I'm going to start talking. Stop talking. Okay, bye. Also, one last thing that I want to point out is that these tips that I give you are just simple, healthy habits that you guys can incorporate to your lifestyle, regardless if you have binge eating, um, stress eating, any of that. These are just healthy habits that really will go a long way in your maintenance of you know a healthier lifestyle, and that's really what we want, right? It's our ultimate goal is to live a healthier lifestyle. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give this video a like if you did and comment down below if you want more videos like this. Insane. Um, anyways, I am going to go eat some snacks. Guys, I'm looking back from a video that I filmed like six months ago and look at my armpit fat. Girl. Um, go do my armpit fat workout. This tells you, this proves you that the workout works.